Hello, hello, hello. My name is Evie Greenbottle, and this is Graveyard Keeper. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Graveyard Keeper, it's kind of like Stardew Valley. However, it has far darker humor and far more gruesome quests. Now, in this game, we're going to be taking on the role of a medieval graveyard keeper who's going to be managing the graveyard and helping out the local town. Because there's some crazy things happening in here. Now, this world is full of wonderful NPCs that are going to give us quests, going to help us with farming, crafting, trading, all sorts of things. So let's dive right in. It is an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home where someone important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Oh, look, it's our love. Oh no. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. All right, new task. We are in our house. We've got a little cooking space. Nice. Right, I guess we're following the arrow. Typically, that's what you do in games. We are. Digging up. What I hope to be is Jerry. Holy sard, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm, why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye? I remember. Oh, sard. That's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you. Who are you and where the sard are we? That's a good question. I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. Something is very wrong with you. You know, I think it'd be better if I wait for you here. It might scare the poor thing. Ha. Huh. There's a donkey. Donkeys of the world unite. You've unlocked a new technology. <laughs> oh, that's a weird sound, isn't it? Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. <laughs> that's quite the noise. <laughs> you, you can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This cart isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? He pretends he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Ah, he's pushing our dead corpse away. Here comes Jerry. Hi, what are you staring at? Grab that... Oh, dear. This is the dark humor I was mentioning. <laughs> well, it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and might be profitable. Oh, going to puke. Let's do it. All right, use E to pick up and drag large objects. Guess we're just lugging a corpse around now, as you do. Sard, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, uh, what's next? Oh yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. No way, this isn't right. Ah, oh, how could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where we are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. Oh dear, just do what I tell you. I promise you'll tell me how to get home. Trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Oh dear. Right. So, 
I can extract the flesh, which is highly disturbing. And unlock some new technology. So we took some flesh off and now we can make burgers and sandwiches and meat. Oh my, cannibalism. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know, let's bury it. Take the corpse, I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Poof, he's away. This graveyard looks like it could use some TLC. Let's bury it. Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave, then dig it up with your shovel. Carefully put the body, or what remains of it, in the grave. Bury, decorate. Do not use goat skulls or upside down stars for decoration. Ah, oh, and we've got a shovel. We can build a little grave site. Chuck it down there. Just drop the body on the ground, no big deal. There we go. Turd the corpse. Nicely done. Burial certificate. Hmm, this burial certificate. I remember money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm, I sure used to like it a lot. Ozard, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be waiting in the morgue, waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Oh dear, the new keeper. Hmm. We've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you this. But your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Right. So we are currently in... Well, it's going to tell us where we are, but we're currently in the graveyard, of course. Important location information. The graveyard quality looks like that. And the church appeal looks like that. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. So... I guess we want to get rid of the overgrowth and cobwebs. Minus two skulls means it's not as good quality. And we want to get it to be pretty and new and fresh looking. So, new technology, a wooden marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. Okay, five, that doesn't seem like so many. You look like a good spiritual leader and I'm a good judge of character. Ha ha. I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. Ha ha. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... Sunday. <laughs> Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha ha. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. It's kind of a random place to trade it in, but sure. Bishop's Choice Blueprint. Right, so I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work. So at the opening scene, we were driving home from work. And I think we got a call from our wife. And then there was a crashing sound. So I'm assuming we crashed our car. And now we ended up here. I need to go home. There's a talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. Haha, oh, a fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is BB? Who? I am. Haha. Oh, At least he finds it funny. Blessed and beautiful. Um, let's give him a nice little pity laugh. How can I fix a graveyard? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. All right. So this is, this is what we're doing. He's already told us about this. It's your payment for laying our brethren to rest. It's all part of the ancient contract between the town and the village. As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Oh, goodness. This seems to be too complicated to be a dream. The town is the heart of our glorious land. The palace, the cathedral, everything is there. You should see it for yourself. Hmm, but in those clothes, that would be rather funny. Ha oh, How can I get to the town? It's not far from the village, just head south from the tavern. Alright, 
Uh, no more questions. Let's fix up this uh, place. To craft new items, you'll need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Okay, so red points represent our hand crafting skills and our ability to work with materials. Green will be for our knowledge about nature and blue is our spiritual knowledge. You'll get our first blue at the study table in the church basement. You can earn points simply by doing anything. Also, you can get points by studying new items at a special table. And now we can gather some stone rock. Ooh. And we can fell some small trees and gather sticks and make a timber stockpile. Ah, and this is our tech trees. I love a good tech tree. So, uh, anatomy and alchemy is the first one. So, oh dear, taking bits out of bodies. Literally butchering things. Performing surgeries. Oh dear. Uh, theology. So our kind of spiritual ones here. Making gravestones. I mean that I suppose will help us get our quality up. Oh, speaking of quality, our quality is at minus 29. So we're kind of way down in the dumps. So five does seem a bit further away now that we're in the negatives. Book writing. Farming. Smithing. Building. And... Now we've also got our character page here. Ooh, that's got the flesh that we've recently exhumed. Known NPC, so people that we've met so far. So our donkey, of course. Uh, Jerry, that's us. And the bishop. And it also tells us what quests we have here from those characters. So from the bishop, we need to reach level 5 decoration at the graveyard. And Jerry would like us to get a beer for him from the tavern. And donkey hasn't given us any quests. We can also see here the friendship level. Um, so currently we have zero friendship with everyone. Map, so we haven't obviously explored too much of the map. Oh, it looks like this is maybe the leftmost. And then there's the rightmost side. And there's a bit north. Can't see anything south. All right. Ah, so we've got some wood repair kits, some stone repair kits. And three new tools. Now, the one thing I like about this game quite a lot is that your tools go into the special inventory that's separate from your inventory. And when you go up to something, you'll automatically grab the right tool for the job. So here we're using the shovel to dig out this bush and get some sticks. Now, as we do this, so it has a minus one. As we remove these, we are actually improving the quality of our graveyard. So let's just see what we can get done. Here's a grave. So this grave has a body in it, but it also has a wooden cross and a stone grave fence. Now, if we click on here, we can fix up this gravestone. Now, everything's costing us energy. Can we fix up this one as well? We can. There. And now it's worth one positive point. So this body has three red skulls and three white skulls. And from the looks of it, our decoration level has to equal the white skulls. So at the moment, we're only getting one decoration from this because these three decorations, because there's four total here, is below the red line. The red line is kind of negative. It's not counting. We have to fill it up. So if we were able to get two more decoration on here, we could get up to a positive three body. The scrapes that would be worth three points, but... Right now, we can only get it up to one. Now, this one's worth minus two, but it has the positive possibility of going up to positive four. So if we fix these things up, I think we're going to be able to get it up to positive two at the moment because right now, it's got these two red ones. So we need to get it kind of out of the negatives. So this should give us zero. Oh, it gives us negative one, actually. Okay, so this is only worth one, the wooden one. Um, this is worth two. No, oh, if we fix it up, is it worth two? Yeah, so we've got it up to one. Just because I think this isn't worth as much, whereas this one had a stone one, which was worth two. The wooden ones are only worth one. So I wonder if we need to be a bit creative here when we fix these up. So I think we want to fix the stone grave marker. Maybe. This only has a possibility of improving one more, though. Oh, well, we can't do that anymore. We can fix this gravestone. Is that going to actually help us? 
Our time is ticking on and this storm is raging. My goodness. We've got that up to a positive one. So we've got up to minus 13 here. We can also get rid of some of these sticks. Oh, look. He's just checking himself out in the mirror. Ah, oh, dear. And now, every time we remove these, we are getting points here. Now, this is going to be for our tech trees. So, for example, if we want to extract skulls, bones, and skin, we're going to need 10 of the red and 5 of the green. So, nearly there. Oh, it's the end of the day. So, goodbye. Not now, my son. All right. See you later, then. Uh, so we got it up to minus nine, and that's kind of the highest that we can get right now because I think we're out of we're out of all of these. Oh, we can fix this, but don't know if that's going to give us enough to actually improve it. There we go. So we're at minus eight now. Um, that's as close as we can get for now with the tools and resources we have. Let's see where this arrow is telling us to go. I think into the village. So we're going to follow the bishop. Although we'll overtake him because we're quite quick. Goodbye. Oh, it's proper coming down now with that rain. It's a bit miserable, isn't it? Through a wheat field. Nice. Uh, still following our lovely arrow here. Oh, it looks like we're getting into the village. And this must be the tavern. The Dead Horse Tavern. Oh, great. Lovely name there, Dead Horse Tavern. It's a bit, a bit dark. Right, we've got some people in here. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Haradric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anyone took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Oh, okay. We've got a lot of stuff happening here. Uh, we've got the burial certificate. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates. Yes, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Hmm. Let's have that fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Ah, new task. Find a stamp and sell meat to Haradric. Many years ago, when there was an accident with an inappropriate meat, ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Uh, no, but also, it's highly inappropriate meat, isn't it? I don't even know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it really looks good. Oh dear. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Ah, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every... Is that the sign for female? I bet she can help you to find Snake. Thanks. Do you know how I get back home? Can you tell me where I really am? Because I need to get home. My darling will be so worried. You're at the dead horse. Okay, it looks medieval. Maybe I traveled through time. And what year is it now? Year? What do you mean? The time it takes for the earth to make one revolution around the sun? Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows that the earth is flat. But I get you. It's 200 after the ancient contract and 210 after... Mm, never mind. And what is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom. And it's definitely not beloved here in the village. It's very clever names, aren't they? Do you have any other questions? Town pass? Hmm, it's rather complicated. 
just shrugs away. The Inquisitor can grant a town pass, or you can just purchase citizenship. Let me think. Hmm, you know, there's one villager who could help you. Miss Charm. Maybe she can help you. Okay, I think he really wants us to go with Miss Charm, but let's see what he has to trade first. Oh, okay, or not. Oh, Hebrew, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith? Sure. The southeastern corner of the village. Oh, good, he will let us trade. So we're going to sell him our burial certificate. We're going to get one silver and 50 copper pieces. All right, check. Is this Miss Charm? No, this is Miss Chain. You must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told, but how did you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Mrs. Chain. Oh, now she's Mrs. Chain. A Radrick's wife. Oh, okay, so she is Mrs. Chain if she's a wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about... Oh, well, you better talk to my husband. Oh, great, he's in charge. Okay, so doesn't talk to others. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do to you is sell you some recipes. Fish. Tasty and healthy. Sweet baking. Pies. All right. Who's this? Oh, dear. Just keep away from me. Okay, she's, she's definitely not interested. Right. South... East. We're gonna go find a blacksmith. Now, okay, we can find the blacksmith. I was wondering, it's kind of the middle of the night. Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. Why, unfortunately? Oh, this poor guy. I've got a letter for you, sir. From Haradric. Just one minute away and he can't be bothered himself. Guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. Seems it's my new habit. Hmm, slimes again. Haradric's asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green. But maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and an energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with the whetstone on the grinder right behind me. You keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need to repair your shovel sometime. All right, we're going up to find the puddles. Different actions in the game spend your energy. Crafting, gathering, and fighting take energy. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Press space to attack. You can always refill your health and energy with food and potions. Sleeping will also restore your health and energy. Okay. We are going to repair the broken sword with a whetstone. Craft that up. There we go. Look at us. Oh, no, we're too tired. Right, that's the thing. Thing he's given us a health potion, er, an energy potion. There we go. Okay, here they are. Is that it? Was it just the two of them? Boy, the rain is really coming down. People don't seem too mad though. Here, we defeated the slimes. He's given us some simple iron parts. Good job. Take this whetstone, just sharpen your broken tools, and they'll be good as new. And we've learned to craft green and red jellies. So we can also trade with him. All right. I guess we're done here. Return to the tavern, master guy, and let him know we've completed his quest. Dalaboo. Dabi Dabu Jop. She's quite the singer. <laughs> Shaluba Duba Wawa. <laughs> oh dear. She talked to us now. Oh, blueprint for Miss Charm Monroe. Hi. Did you just say croissant? I'm a graveyard keeper and I want to ask you some questions. See. I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Uh, ciao. Ooh, this guy would like a moment of our time now. What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally to go away. 
Ah, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. Not just anyone. The local graveyard keeper. Soon to be prior of the local church. Hmm, how primitive. One day, I'll read my poem to her, and then we'll... But first I need to write it, and I'm catastrophically out of paper and ink. Maybe you can get me some. We've unlocked a new technology. Journalist. You notice the little things about people? Put these things together and you have a story. Sometimes you can get stories from dialogues. Okay, he wants one ink and ten paper, and it will make us better friends with him if we give those things to him. Where can we find paper and ink? You may have some of it in your church. Or you can make it. I'm just not used to manual labor. But a skillful man such as you can surely do it easily. Also, could you get some from you could get some from the old astrologer. He used to go to the lighthouse every moon day. He was my supplier before we had this ridiculous fight. Okay. Uh, we can ask him a bit more. He's old and mad. Whereas I've been studying for three, almost three years at the town university. Can you believe he turned out to be an idiot? He told me that the earth is round. What nonsense. Hmm. I mean, not personally a flat earther. But we want to fit in, right? The astrologer must be the smartest man around. Maybe he'll be able to help me get back home. It's on a cliff to the east of the village. It hasn't been active use for a while. Bless the dead horse for staying open. One day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple lines about you. That's nice. Thanks. But you, you're not interested in speaking with us. What about you? Uh, no. The captain is not interested in speaking with us either. It's good you know how to use a sword. Crisval told me about how you helped him. How? He's not come in here. How did he tell him already? I went straight from there to here. Okay. Oh, he's giving us a mug of beer. That's handy. Right. I guess we need to go give that mug of beer to Jerry the Skull. It's daytime already. Literally spent all night just digging away, chatting away, slaying some slimes. Classic stuff, you know. Oh! Psst, come here. Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody's okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sorry, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing? I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Ooh, we, get, we can now gather mushrooms, berries, and apples. Wheat! Exactly. I remember baking bread from it. And pies. Mmm, sweet berry pies. Now we can make dough, pastry dough, bread. Toast. Onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sarge, do you know what? I need a beer. This is to beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff. Like how you can get home. Questions? There's a small road. Yes, can you tell? It was rhetorical. Do I look like Magic Head with answers? Well, yes, technically. Sard. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. I wonder if he means his place, if he means the little morgue. Let's go see. Yep, he did. Hey, where's my beer? We actually do have it. Task complete. Ooh, 20 friendship. Ah, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. All right, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. Today you whisper that to a drinking buddy in a tavern, and tomorrow your face is on every pole in the town. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Ooh, we should be maybe more careful. So what was your question? I have some questions. How can I get home? Easy. I'm sure you could use the portal on which hill. So I just need to go through it, or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. The church has a library in its cellar. Or maybe astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. Obviously through the church. And I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. I used to be like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish this sard. I've got no hands to show how big it was. But believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tanks. And once, 
You know what? I need to go. Sure, sure. It's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. All right. I'm assuming we need to get him a bottle of wine now. Yep. Okay. So smart and very cheerful. Oh, apparently he's got good wine and he's a friend of the lighthouse keeper. They used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon day, which we already knew from our... Let's leave. Yep, see you later. Place for stones. Place for wood logs. Building. Use a blueprint desk to ask the building access the building interface and start building or removing an object in the area. Some objects will be built immediately. Some of them need a little extra work with your hammer. This will spend time and energy. Oh, okay. So we could build a trunk, a timber stockpile, increase our yard space, or make a stone stockpile. But I think we already have those two things. And this here is a trunk. Doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Let's put some stuff in it, though. Now, you'll notice we went through an entire day without sleeping. And in this game, you don't need to sleep except for to heal your energy. There is no dedicated bedtime. What's that sound? It's not like in Stardew Valley where you pass out at 2 a.m. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. All right, it's an interesting fella. Looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. Ooh, but we're gonna need some things. We're gonna need wood wedges, wooden planks, and some simple iron parts. We have simple iron parts, we were given some. Ooh, and we can get some nails from these buckets. And from the sacks? Oh, some flour. Is there anything in this chest? A recipe. Can we read the recipe? Use. Oh, baked mushrooms and baked apple. this all tidied up and then we've got this nice space and we'll have some new resources plus oh nope we won't because we are too tired out of energy looks like a good place to work on making my home cozy then maybe i can finally stop dreaming about this skull all right so we can make some different decorations ah some flower shelves bedspread and looks like we can decorate the walls maybe wallpaper but we're very tired, so let's take a little rest here. Looks like we can choose to wake up whenever we want. So we could fill the bar a bit, or we could stay in bed and fill it the whole way. But time is ticking on. And when we get up now, it's going to be dark outside again. So I don't know if it's normal for a graveyard keeper to sleep all day. Oh, my goodness. I'm so refreshed. This is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a kipper! Wow, I've been here for, hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary. I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd like to have a new neighbour instead. Does that sound like something you can help us with? Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, uh, the half-dead skull. That jealous man. Ha-ha. <laughs> he can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? To dig up a course you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox. Ah, so it's permission to take bodies out. Gross. 
don't think I want to dig up an old body. It's a bit yucky. But a quest is a quest, and we're here to do quests. I don't know why I want that to be jump, but it's not. Spacebar is your sword, and I'm just wasting my energy. Right, bottom right hand corner, he said. It's this fellow. Actually seems like a really good body. I wonder if it doesn't matter which corpse we dig up. Like, because this one has only one red and five white, which means I think we'd, if we added a grave fence and a grave stone, we'd be able to get quite a lot of quality from it. But this one's like negative three and it only has a chance of having plus one. So if we remove this, we're gonna take this body out. Use your permission. I'm hoping this still completes the quest. I actually am not sure. He said throw it in the river. So let's take this not very nice body and throw it in the river. I wonder if there's worse bodies. I suppose I could have looked. Now, it seems kind of bad to pollute the river, but um, th this is fine. Yeah. I don't wonder where this river even goes. Goodbye. Have a nice trip. Right. Oh, what do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're just doing everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. Haha, ah, he's disembodied. Whereas I could bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I never do anything like that because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. This is a good question. This is what I'd really actually like to know. Where's the river lead? The river? Somewhere down to the town, I think. Oh dear. People are going to discover that body. It's only a matter of time before they trace us back up river. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you need fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Hmm. In a nice quiet place, like the place I used for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. Okay. Oh, this is about our known NPCs. So, each important character who the Graveyard Keeper meets will appear on the character screen, which we've taken a look at this already. Uh, Bishop, he's got a motto. Pray, preach, and look like you won the lottery. <laughs> and the quests are shown here as well. So, the tasks related to the character are listed to the right. The character's relation, so that is our friendship meter like we thought. Some services require a certain level of friendship. So, for... No, currently none of that is a problem, but... We've met quite a few more people now. And we've dug up a body. Uh, but we've got this empty hole. So I think if we fill in this hole, I can't fill in this hole. Why can I not fill in this hole? This is making it much worse. Uh, what are the other graves like? I didn't even look to see if the other bodies were worse than the one I chose. No, I think I think he chose a good one. To throw down the oh, but that one would have been all right. It's, it's not worth very much out of anything at all. All right, we need to improve this quality of the graveyard. Now, according to this, nope, not that one. This page, uh, the bishop. I think this means he'll come back on that day, so we can see him on the Sunday, which. Is that one. So this clock's going to kind of spin around. So we've had that day, then that day, and then this day. So this will be tomorrow. Uh, so we've got a few days before the bishop is back to inspect our graveyard. But we'll need to make sure we get it to five before he comes back. So let's see what we need to do. There's something going on down here. Let's take a look at that. The garden, property in forfeiture. For commercial use, contact the tavern owner, Haradric. Ooh, okay. And then it looks like we could plant a nice little garden here. Hmm.
stone garden. A few resources that we don't have yet. Oh, but we can pick up things like mushrooms. Ooh. This is a bit swampy over here. Need a technology, so we're not able to do anything with that yet. We can pick up this old tree stump. Ooh, popped out some logs. All right, I guess we can take these home. Just push that one. Doesn't look like it would roll particularly well. Luckily, we can just slide it across the ground. With some difficulty. And this was our wood storage pile, so we can store that directly in there. Perhaps we should go talk to the tavern owner and see if we can get this opened up and then we can start planting a garden. Oh, it's the donkey again. Oh, not now. Okay, fine. By order of the Great Inquisitor, this path is closed until this day. A symbol for mail, I think. Let's follow the donkey. I suppose he's going to give us another body to bury. Alright, donkey. You keep chugging along. Now, every time we collect things, it is giving us points to unlock more technologies, which are probably very valuable. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Oh, and he's leaving. <laughs> not now, all right. He's not interested in having a chat. He's just here to do a job, which I guess we are too. I have some questions, but not about the lighthouse. More like, should I take this out? We did last time. All right, that's made the body worse, so. Let's just go bury it anyways, I guess. Now this is the same body, I think. It's like one and one that we threw down the river. So it's karma. Put this one back. Oh, get a new burial certificate. It's worth minus one. If we put a fence or a gravestone though, I suppose it would be worth positive one and then that would help improve this, we need to really do something about this negative three, which means I guess we need these wood repair kits. Crafted at a carpenter's workbench or a carpenter's workbench two. I don't think we currently have that, so it must be in our technology. So if we go in here to building, we could do sawing, stone working, wood cutter, woodworking. So here's the wood repair kit. So we need to get all the way there. Oh, actually it goes straight on. So let's unlock that. We can't unlock that. We don't have enough red ones yet. So we might just have to do some more crafting, collecting. Like, do we get red if we do this? Dig this up. Get some sticks. It does give us red. Oh, we're really close, actually. So we just, we just do a few more of these. Good. Can I do this? Mind this one. See if that gives us anything. Hello. Yes. Okay, we got some stones. That gave us the one we needed. So we can now unlock woodworking. So... Got a blueprint for the carpenter's workbench. We can now create wooden planks and wood repair kits. I think we're gonna need wood repair kits and stone repair kits to get these graves looking a bit nicer. But let's focus on the wood for now. Seems like a good place to start. Right, so if we come up here now to our crafting table. Sawhorse, is that what we need? Make a sawhorse, where am I gonna put it? Not a lot of spots. We'll put it there. Just need the one. I think we just need to go hit it with the hammer. Yeah. There we go. Hammer that together. And now we can make stuff. Oh, we can make, actually, we can make our own wooden markers. So the ones that don't have any wooden markers. And um, we can use the wood that we collected earlier. So 
Let's make, oh, there it goes. It disappears from over there. And we've made some flitch. Now we've picked the flitch and some nails that we got from the basement. We should be able to make one of these. Ah, nice. Okay, well that didn't give us the woodworking table that I thought it was going to. Oh, carpenter's workbench is right here. So for carpenter's workbench, we just need another piece of flitch. So let's go back over here. Use this other piece of wood. Craft those, saw those away. And over here, carpenter's workbench. Let's stick it, seems to fit nicely there. Build, there we go. I think it's just the, oh, oh, we are too tired. All right, there's another day done then. I guess we go to bed, see what happens in the morning. Oh, I'm so refreshed. Good. It's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I didn't even remove the guy that he wanted me to remove. I just moved whoever I wanted. I'm still so sad, though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh, fine. I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red and good deeds are white. Even the best decorations can't make a graveyard a peaceful place when it is full of red. I'm not sure what I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. Ha! Oh, you better take a good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Ooh. All right, so this is what we were looking at before. So the amount of decoration is dependent on how many white skulls we have. So we need, basically we need corpses that have lived good lives. We don't want evil corpses. Uh, you can change the corpses red and white by removing organs and embalming them. So I guess that's what the autopsy table is all about. And we did notice when we took out the flesh, it lost an entire skull. So it just it became much worse body when it didn't have any flesh on it. So something to keep an eye out for, I suppose. But I think that's about all we're going to have time for today. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not already, consider subscribing so you can catch more because we're going to be continuing on with Graveyard Keeper and some new things. And I hope to see you around. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.